welcome back today we are going to uh, just discuss about uh, read a large excel file from the folder structure and uh, try to insert them into sql server so that is the challenge that we are uh, taking today and uh, this was requested by one of our uh, uh, subscriber hence uh, uh, have created a small uh, uh, code stage I mean have written some code to uh, read the data from spreadsheet uh, it's a, a huge spreadsheet which contains approximately 130,000 uh, records that is uh, uh, 130,000 records uh, if you wanted to see the file we do have the file called data large which is of uh, 39 MB approximately and uh, don't ask me what kind of data it contains because I don't know I have just downloaded this data uh, from github so it contains approximately I mean a lot of uh, you no know, columns it's not like a small file and if you see it has huge content approximately 1,30,451 records yeah it contains a lot of data let's try to execute it and uh, how it is going to read the data from spreadsheet uh, I mean how blue prism is going to read the data from spreadsheet and uh, insert them uh, into SQL server let's see whether it is really possible or not what kind of challenges that we may come across etc yep let's jump yep i don't want to save anything because it's okay okay yeah now yeah before moving to that i have uh, created this table now it is there in my database sample db which contains uh, only one table that is uh, data large I created this and if you try to see how many rows were there I can see only no, it contains nothing just check what all are the columns it contains see fairly straight forward what all are the columns were there in that particular spreadsheet all those columns are here okay to just make sure I have actually created this table with the help of that uh, the same spreadsheet so no confusion and uh, uh, no need to worry about the data types and all so here the assumption is you have a table ready in your database and uh, you know what all are the columns that you need to select from the spreadsheet and uh, the spreadsheet columns and um, again table columns are same and data types are same now you are about to inject the data that is the assumption if these assumptions are not met maybe there is a possible chance of failure okay now i will see again just for uh, verification purpose it is showing number of rows zero uh, let's jump to my blue prism and I have created uh, a VBO called SQL bulk insert let's open the object uh, to just make it very simple I have uh, already uh, written the code of course I can explain it and before moving to the code I have actually added few libraries to our uh, uh, business object properties one of the important library that is dll is system dot data dot sql client dll which is not directly comes with the, the uh, blue prism i mean it might be there in the libraries but it will not be added in the external references try to add it over here and uh, you need to add to, to you need to import two namespaces one is system.data.sql client and another one is system.data.oledb which we will be using to read the data from spreadsheet 
and SQL client will help us to insert the data to SQL Server. So, and as usual, I have selected C Sharp as it is my favorite language. Of course, you may ask, can, can we do it with VB? Yes, it is possible. You can do it with Visual Basic as well. It's just uh, our, uh, no, this usability and uh, comfortability. Now, if you see here, we have total four input parameters and one output parameter, which actually, this is my code stage. Code stage contains total four input parameters and one output parameter. If you try to see, uh, you know, for better understanding, I have uh, created a variable called a status log, I mean, data item of text type, okay? So created this data item uh, called a status log, which is going to collect the logs. I mean, what happened while we are trying to execute the, uh, while we try to perform the bulk insertion operation. So it will just gives us uh, all the information. Consider something got broken. Of course, it will collect that information as well to understand uh, how it went, okay? And uh, coming to the parameters, sorry, input parameters that we have used. Uh, one is Excel connection string, SQL connection string, table name, that is SQL Server table name, and SQL command, which is the select command for the spreadsheet, okay? Now, let's check the SQL connection string. I'll copy and uh, open it here, right? So, uh, for my, for my uh, SQL server, uh, I don't put any password. It is uh, getting authenticated with the help of, uh, you know, local Windows authentication. So that is the reason I no need to provide the username and password. Maybe based on your SQL server configuration, you need to place appropriate usernames and passwords. So right now I am trying to connect to my local DB. Uh, my server, this is my server name, SQL server name, that is local DB slash MSSQL local DB. And my database name is initial catalog, that is sample DB. Of course, these things are pretty standard. Uh, based on your DB configuration, it can be remote database uh, and uh, it may need username and password to connect to it. Okay, based on that, you can configure appropriately. So now if we just jump to the Hello. second configuration, sorry, second variable that is That is our uh, Excel connection string. Just open it. If you try to see, we have provider ASOLADB 12.0 and data source. No, this uh, this is our law data large XLSX and uh, extended properties Excel 12.0 XML HDR. Yes, of course, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, connection string, connection string for uh, Excel, okay, for particularly OLEDB connection string. And we have SQL command that is select star from sheet one, as I have only one sheet I have used very straightforward select star okay possibly you might be uh, needed to select only required uh, columns instead of uh, you know just using select star from sheet name uh, what you can do is you can simply say select column one comma column two comma column three what here i'm saying column one column two but that can be your column name actual column name consider if it is an employee a spreadsheet you 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 might be having employee first name comma employee second name last name comma salary comma employee id comma blah 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 
whatever the records whatever the columns that you wanted to select select you can write the query appropriately because we don't know what kind of uh, columns that you wanted to select so that is the reason it is kind of you know reusable this this video can be reused uh, for any kind of scenarios simply so that is the reason we have put it uh, like this as an input variable and uh, the last but not the least we have the table name that is target table name okay the target table name is data dpo dot data large of course this is the table i hope everything is clear we have all the data items filled in now let's jump to our code stage what we have written here let's try to understand yep now if we start with the code yeah we have declared a variable uh, otbl which is of data table of course we will be uh, in blue prism terminology we will call it as uh, you know uh, collection okay right so i have initialized our status log what it will do when you complete your execution all these status logs will be added to this, to this uh, status log variable like whenever the execution started here it will contain execution started now we have opened oledb connection with the help of excel connection string which we have provided as input and try to open the connection if something got broken add the exception message to the status log and uh, you know close the connection just say connection closed and add that particular status log and just get out of that particular place and here we have added an additional condition if the otbl not equals to null and otbl rows dot count greater than zero means if this particular collection contains minimum one row then only go and insert that particular row into sql server otherwise you no need to do anything just get out of uh, from the code stage so that is the condition that we have written of course if the connection is got opened successfully what it will do it will actually mark you know it will update the status log uh, and it will say yes connection is got opened now it will start here we have we have actually created an object for uh, oledb command so here we will pass on the sql command which is select star from the table i mean the sheet name that we have given and uh, we used to provide the connection as the object here uh, once we come inside execution will start here here we are using a data reader oledb data reader which is responsible for reading all the data from the spreadsheet with the help of this query and uh, here we have created an object for a table that is nothing but our collection and it will push us everything whatever the data that was read from the spreadsheet will be loaded into data table this particular line number 16 will make sure all the records were pushed into data table that's it so if this is got successfully completed means the we one one step is completed means we just filled our data table collection nothing but and we are adding a status uh, we are updating the status with data loaded to collection and the total records of course we are adding the total records so that we can understand well how many records got loaded into maybe into collection then what it will do it will close the connection and uh, you now update the status log and move on and uh, of course as we have discussed so it will verify uh, the collection should have minimum one record to proceed further consider it contains more than one record then it will start updating the status log yes sql execution started and uh, we, we have created a connection connection object uh, by taking the SQL connection string as our input. If 
and it will try to open the connection something fails that's it it will update the log closes the connection simply get out of the code stage if the connection is got opened successfully means the connection was established to the SQL server then it will update the log and uh, it it will create an object for SQL bulk copy so here we have uh, used this SQL bulk copy which is an inbuilt uh, class uh, which is part of you know system.data.sql client uh, library uh, namespace particular and now uh, with the help of this SQL bulk copy uh, we will define which table that into which table that you wanted to insert the data so here we have mentioned the table name which is coming as part of our input uh, variable now after that we have updated the status log yes bulk insertion started and uh, here we have provided the input data table uh, the collection that we have filled here will be passed on to uh, SQL bulk copy write to server. So this particular method is responsible for writing all the records which were collected from which were collected in the previous section uh, will be pushed to SQL server. Once this execution is over, line number 50 will get executed and uh, here it will update the status log will move on closes the sql connection update the log that's it yeah good yeah no errors now let's try to execute it yeah usually it is going to take few seconds not more than that it will read the data and load everything into um, data table once the data table is got filled it will go and uh, open a connection to sql server and you know just uh, use the sql bulk insert object to insert uh, the collection to our target table yeah it's done it's done now yeah see we got a lot of logs just open it yeah it seems we got some interesting stuff here see execution started connection opened execution start okay execution started data loaded to collection total records 1,30,450 connection closed because Data, re data loading is completed. This part makes sure that everything went well from Excel shy. And it started SQL execution, connection opened, insertion started, insertion completed, SQL connection closed. Now jump to SQL Server, verify whether the data is got loaded successfully or not. Yes, we can see 1,30,450 records here. If you wanted to see the data, just Say select a star from data large. See, it is still loading. It took four seconds, five seconds, six seconds to select the data. Just imagine. Very, very, very big, huge table. Yep, there you go. And uh, that's all I have. If you have any questions, please try to write your comments. I'll be uploading this particular VBO. Uh, I mean, I'll export this object into .xml. We'll put it in my GitHub repository. That's all I have. Thanks for watching.